Hi, I'm Jackie Topa, and I'm going to show you how to make these little um, candy cane elves. Okay, once you have all your parts and pieces, you can get started. Um, this is the top note, and we use that to make the feet. And what I did is I, while it was still whole, I just punched two circles right in the tip and then cut it in four. And uh, that makes our little boots. And we need four candy canes. And this step isn't necessary, but I want my candy canes to hold together really well. I don't want my boots or my mittens falling off. So what I did is I just took a pencil and a couple pieces of cardstock. This is about one inch by one and a half, just a scrap, and then a half an inch by one and a half for the top. And all I did is I just glued it onto the bottom of the candy cane, both ends. I'm not sure how well my um, cardstock is going to stick to the pieces. And it was hard to scotch tape it on, so what I did is I glued that on. And I took my scotch tape. And see, the cardstock's so stiff it tends to unravel. So you can hold it for a while. Also, you can use sticky strip, that helps. But I found with taping on this cardstock, it gave my. Um, pieces something to adhere to with the glue and it being scotch tape on you don't even see it on the clear. So I did all four of my candy canes like that but like I said it's not necessary it's just an extra extra step in there. So again you're going to need your tape and I'm just going to leave them apart a little bit because you want them spread for the legs and You just tape them together like that. Now if you want, I'll move some of this stuff so it's a little clearer. And I'm going to put some string. I've got some Baker's twine. Just stick into my fingers. And I've got about 12 inches and I just put a little knot in the end. Like that. And then all I did is slip it on the bottom of one candy cane and then back up through the middle. And I'm going to tape that so those little tails aren't hanging out the bottom of my of my top after. There. So if you want to hang it in a tree, you can put a string on. If, if you don't, that's not necessary. Okay, let's start with the feet. Again, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to wind the end. around the end of your pencil a little bit. And you can use sticky strip. I'm just going to use Tombow because it's faster here to show you. And glue that on. Now you're going to do your other two candy canes the same and you're going to put all four feet on. And once that glue sets, Another reason for putting that in is so it kind of looks, it hides candy cane in behind. So if you wanted to be exact, you could get it the same uh, width as your, um, as your boot. But I wasn't that precise. Okay, I've got all four of my feet on. And next we're going to do their, their bodies. And for, one's going to be a boy and one's going to be a girl, so... I'm going to use sticky strip for this. And I think put the sticky strip all the way around. Oops, I should have cut that first. And I'll do two pieces of that. Actually, one should hold it. Maybe well, on the boy, I think I'll do two, and the girl I'll do one. Okay. So this will be the boy. So put your sticky strip on. And if you can peel it off, <laughs> which I can't, can't really see very well. I'm doing this video downstairs in my parents' basement, so the lighting's not the best. I'm really anxious to get my house. Oops, okay. I 
forgot to mention too that you should be gentle with the uh, candy canes. They uh, break pretty easily. So, let's see, I'm going to put one on the front. And I'm going to put one on the back as well. And for the girl, we're going to do one line of sticky strip, and then we're just going to put her dress on, and then one on the back. Okay, I got the boy on front and back, and then the girl, the one on the back. And we'll line this up on the front. There. So that's going to hold. And again, be very gentle with your candy canes when you're squishing your parts down there. And we will put the collars on for the boy. Use a little piece of the owl. Stick that on there. And for the girl, I use the um, small scallop that's in the holiday mini. And again, we'll put them on the back. Put the heads. Okay. The heads are just the wing from the bird punch and the um, one and three quarter inch circle and the owl, the medium and I think I did the medium and the um, large circles. And on the back of one of these, and then I sponged around the edge and the cheeks just to give it some color. So on the girl, I'm going to cut the owl. I cut the owl in half and we're just going to tuck it in behind the ear like that. Hide that end a little bit. And do the same on the other side. And we'll put her hat on. That'll go on the front, and I just cut this with the extra large oval, and this is the, um, I can't remember what the die is, the die with the pennants and the doilies. And oops, I forgot before that dries, the little heart from the owl, I'm just going to put a little dot and tuck that under for the bangs. That's the little girl. And I'm just going to take the half inch circle and with my marker. I'm just going to use that as a template. And then I'll do the same on the boy. You can just draw it freehand, but I like the way, uh, I like the shape of this one. So again, that's a half inch circle. And for the boy, we got a little piece of hair sticking out like that, which is the owl, the apron from the owl, and then he gets a hat as well. On the back, I stuck the other, the other um, scallop, and don't worry about the bottom sticking out. I'm going to pull my string straight up, put some glue on there. That'll help hold your string in place. And whatever color you made the hair, cut a one and three quarter inch circle out of the same cardstock. That'll be the back of her head. And it just cleans it up a little bit in the back. 
So hold that till it dries. And, oops, I got her feet on backwards. Oh, that should have been her face. Okay, let's just change her around. That'll bug me. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oops, and I forgot to move my string up. See, all the things that you don't want to do, I just did. Okay. So on the hat, I liked having a ball on the front and the back. So I just kind of did that. And got another one the same size. And we'll do the same thing for her toes. And then do the, um, the same for the boy. Okay, we'll finish up our, our little people here. Just going to uh, use a glue dot. That's a couple of glue dots to put the mittens on. And one right, glue dot there, and one right on. Oops. Can't get it off my fingers. <laughs> okay, forget that one. Right on the edge of the of the can can. And I'm just going to put the mitten on there. Do the same on the other side. And then the back. And then what we're going to do is we'll give him a couple little buttons. These are the uh, medium owl eyes. Medium sized circle from that punch. And I thought she might be cute with some pearls, so we'll give her... Okay, nothing's working today, but... Give her a couple of pearls on her dress. And we'll give her some mittens as well. And then that'll be it for our little candy cane people.